Hello my scrappy friends and a big big welcome to you today. Um, it's Melinda Sweetman here with you and I am playing along with the Tracy Reed Designs YouTube Pop for the gorgeous new Felicity collection. Uh, so make sure you check the, dro uh, the drop box, the box below for all of the links and follow along to get some incredible inspiration. This collection is absolutely gorgeous. If you watched my last video, you already know what I think of it. I love, love, love it. Um, and today I am working with this giant photo. It is a tiny bit smaller than A4 in size and I do cut it down just a little bit so that I have enough room to add, a, um, to add this border. So I have printed um, I've actually printed three of the 12 by 12 patterns on textured white cardstock. I'm using two of them today. One is my background and the other one is this one. Um, I love this blue stripe and I really like how it sits on that um, heart pattern with the photo on top. So I'm just adding adhesive around the border here. I'm going to stick my photo down and then I'm going to add a white stitched border around it. Now, um, if you follow me personally, you will know that I, um, I uh, we, one, uh, one of my sister-in-laws and brother-in-law organized some family photos of our entire, um, my husband's entire um, f side of the family, which was awesome. We got them back and I've looked at them and looked at them and looked at them and been terrified of scrapbooking them because, you know, when you love something so much, you're just like, I just don't even know where to start. That's exactly what I've been doing. So this um, this photo, I was like, yes, I'm going to scrapbook it. I'm going to scrapbook it big. Um, obviously, it is myself, my husband, and my two lovely, charming boys. I would say little boys, but I mean, they're not that little anymore. It's a whole different story. Um, so I have... Um, I've got the idea of my page here. I was always thinking that I would add, not always thinking, I had the idea that I was going to use this big photo um, and then along the top of the photo I would add um, a row of embellishment and fun things. Uh, sticking to my use what you have idea, I dug into a bowl of acrylics I've got on my desk. Uh, and I ended up using the best photo ever acrylic. This is from um, my days with Anna's Craft Cupboard, which um, sadly is no longer around. Um, but they had their own um, acrylic embellishment company called Annabellish. And I believe that they are still about doing acrylic, like cake toppers and things like that. If they are, I'll make sure I leave a link. Um, but I love this photo of me and all of my boys. So I'm like, yep, best photo ever. It's going on there. And I'm just going to use that down the bottom there. You can see uh, I've also stuck down one of the uh, vellum sticker florals that I print and cut on the Cameo. Um, I love these vellum florals. They are absolutely gorgeous. Um, the florals that I'm actually using as well are from the embellishment kit for the digital um, kit they're not actually like the stickers or anything I just basically drag them into silhouette studio plonk them onto a and half by 11 sheet because that's the size of my uh, vellum sticker paper and then print and cut them I love 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 them so much uh, these have actually got like um, some extra around the border I know that sounds really vague uh, hopefully you can see it in my close-ups. Uh, so I have grabbed one of the journal cards there and you can see I've cut that into a tag shape. Uh, if you missed it before, I had a tag that I was using um, for the template and then I have used my We Are Memory Keepers um, tag reinforcer punch to uh, cut a hole reinforcer and then punch my hole in there. Uh, so wasn't really sure exactly where I was going to go, how I was going to make this happen. So I just pulled off a bunch of stickers that I thought I wanted to use. Um, I have those stuck to the top of my mat that you can't see right now. I think I do anyway. Uh, and I'm going to tuck some behind the photo, uh, behind the mat of the photo. My goodness, some on top of the photo. Um, and others like further behind I'm going to use different dimensions of 
foam and cardboard just to pop some things up. Um, it was a bit of a tricky process. I didn't want it. I didn't want to have like the same colour right on top of each other. I didn't want to have too many words right on top of each other. So it was a little bit of mucking around and playing, but I really, really love how this turned out in the end. Uh, I tried to get this blue heart in, but I don't like the gap between where that edge of the heart was and where the tag was. So I end up pulling in this sticker instead. This blue is gorgeous. Absolutely love it. And then I'm going to try and get something else in here. Um, so you can see I'm going to lift things up. I'm going to tuck things under. I'm going to put things on top. Trying to get this in. I'm like, nope, I don't like it there. I do like it there though. So you can see it's just a matter of kind of going, I really like this piece. How can I make it work? Um, with all of these round pieces, um, I really, I actually really struggle using circles, but for this layout, it worked really well. Um, for that one, I just cut the bottom off so that it looks like it's tucked behind the photo, but on top of the um, cardstock. So it's just a case of finding where things fit um, and adding adding foam or adding not or adding not foam or not adding foam and dimension. So here you can see I'm just going to turn this around and I'm going to add some um, some glue and some uh, little bits of cardboard and foam and stuff just to get that to sit flat for me. Um, wanting to make sure I've got the colours so they're fairly even, not evenly spread out, but so that, like I said, so they're not like right on top of each other. So, um, have you ever scrapbooked with big photos? Do you like it? Um, do you not like it? What is one of the things that you like about it? Uh, you got any questions about scrapbooking with big photos? I really enjoy doing it. Um, it's something different in my album when you're flipping through. Uh, and I really like that it sounds really silly, but that, that it takes up so much of the page. Um, and in, it takes a lot of your decisions away from you. But at the same time, I feel like it gives me a lot of freedom as well. Because, you know, like with this one, I've got all along like the top or even if I wanted to go right, right down one of the sides or both sides, I could essentially scrapbook this as a full 12 by 12 photo as well um, and decorate it that way. Um, so yeah, I really, really enjoy scrapbooking big photos. Um, hmm, tell me what you think. Have you done it? Have you not done it? If you haven't, why haven't you? So um, you can see I'm just adding bits and pieces here, trying to, like I said, get my composition to a place that I'm happy with it. Um, the colors I want evenly spread. Um, I surprised myself that I used so many of the circle embellishments here, but I'm really happy that I did. Like I said, it's something that I normally really struggle with. Have you got any tips for using circle stickers, embellishments? How do you do it? How do you make it work for you? Sorry that my head keeps getting in the way. There was a fair bit of moving things and rejigging things and pulling things up and putting them back down and... I was happy to cover things up, but only the bits that I was happy to cover up. I know that sounds silly. Um, that other sticker is the one that says Merriment, I think. Add in a couple of florals. Now, I thought I was going to go all the way to the edge here, but I really like how that floral just kind of finishes it. You can see I'm just trying to get, um, you know, I'm looking at it going, okay, what do I need? What don't I need? I add in another one of these vellum uh, floral stickers. I love them. You can see I'm just lifting up the edges there and sticking that down. So now I've got two and I want to bring a third one in. And of course I want to bring it in somewhere where I've already stuck something. I'm just going to pull that flower up. Um, and then stick this floral in. Uh, I don't like the way that the leaf and the blue are overlapping. You can't really see it, but I come in real quick and I cover that up with this little um, Heart Love sticker. I'll just make sure it's in the right place. 
Um, and then what am I doing next? Oh, I'm just finishing off here. Um, add this sticker in that says Chase Rainbows. That is also from the embellishment kit. I'm going to add some of this. Um, I don't even know what kind of ribbon this is. It's like white, but it's see-through. It's very pretty. And then um, this gold twine to tie it off. Which I'm like, hey, if I add gold twine here, I can also add in gold mist. Um, I do try here to get these to like um, coil, but it doesn't work. So I'm like, right, fine, I'll just chop you, that's fine. Um, I have, I remember to cover up my photo, winning uh, gold mist. Uh, I'm quite happy for it to go on the photo where we're not. Uh, so yeah, I'm just adding that in. You can see I'm intentionally getting some onto that photo as well. Uh, and then I'm going to go down to the bottom corner. Uh, I've added in that good vibes only, I think it says. Oh no, good vibes. Um, craft sticker as well. That's just on some foam. You can see that I am getting some of that mist onto the acrylic. I'm just going to use a wet wipe to clean that off. And that is going to finish my page up. Um, the other thing that I do like about having these professional photos done is I don't have to add a ton of journaling. Um, there are going to be pages that I add journaling to that are going to be more sentimental. Um, and then there are going to be uh, pages that I just scrap with the photo because it's one of my favourites. So that is my page for the Felicity YouTube Hop for the March release for Tracy Reed Designs. Make sure you hop along to everyone that is doing the hop. And I just saw that was not the Merriment sticker, that was Revelry. Um, so yeah, uh, if you have any questions, please make sure you drop them below. I'll make sure I link everything in the description box below. As always, thank you so, so much for choosing to spend your scrappy time with me. I hope you've enjoyed and I look forward to seeing you in my next process video. Have a fantastic scrappy day.